Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's episode, we're gonna do a nice little review on this Ampeak 3000 watt inverter. Uh, Ampeak sent me this, they're sponsoring the video, and we're gonna be using this inverter in some upcoming episodes on some projects I've got planned out. So let's go ahead and take a look at this inverter. It's a 3000 watt inverter, has your user manual with all your specs and directions. It does have your inverter cables, Look at this, it comes with a little wrench. It has a nice ABS plastic case around it. it. Has your mounting brackets right here on the bottom. What do we have here? We have 320 volt outlets. Nice feature on this one too. We have a 12 volt outlet right there. So if you have one of those portable refrigerators, uh, any 12 volt accessories, you can plug it right into this. You don't need an adapter uh, for your battery 12 volt section. This is essentially a pass-through for 12 volt. Your on-off switch, it has a remote port right here, uh, optional accessory, and we have two USB ports. Also, I noticed on these cables, they may be a little small for 3000 watt, but really nice cables, look like three foot cable. The crimp ends look pretty good, but super flexible, really flexible cable which shows a kind of a sign of quality. Sometimes they use those real stiff cables. But these are nice, flexible cables. They like say they should go up um, in size on these, but you know they'll work for what we're using here today. We're gonna set this up on our test station. We got some meters on that, and we'll start running some tests on this. All right, we have our little amp meter shot monitor with that. Let's go ahead and see what the static draw is on this unit when we turn it on. We have a static uh, resting idle draw of two point, let's say 2.2 amps idle consumption. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and check the voltage. And, all right, we got 121 volts. Let's try it with a load on and see what kind of voltage drop we get. All right, we're drawing a thousand watts, about 800 watts right now. A little bit of voltage drop, we're at 116. Let's do it at, we're at 1400 watts right now. 117. So a little bit of voltage drop, but uh, not real bad, 117 with that kind of load on it, right? 1500 watts, it's pretty good. Take a look at the screen here. You can see all the parameters that it says on the screen. Right? We have the input power is 13 volts, uh, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the temperature of the unit. Your output right here, 120 volts. Your amp output and this Hertz is uh, 60 Hertz on this. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Right. Tells us our watt output right here with this heat gun. 1,520 watts right. at 13.1 amps. That's nice, has the little amp meter on it. At our battery bank, we only have a 200 amp BMS on this. We're gonna do a load test on this but the batteries are probably gonna shut off before we can max this out at 3000 watts. Let's go ahead and turn this inductive load on, see how it handles it, and then we'll start uh, increasing the load with our heat gun. We have 1000 watts right now, 1085. We're at 1800. 75 right now on low. Let's go ahead and turn it on high. We're running nice and steady at 2500. That's 2480. No faults from the inverter. So we know it can handle 2500 watts. Steady. Nice smooth power. intake for the fans 
right, the exhaust for the fans. You can hear the sound of the fans running. Not very loud at all for a 3,000 watt inverter. All right, let's go ahead and check the impedance on the neutral ground bond, see if there is a neutral ground bond on this. Some inverters have it. We have a little ground connector right here. I'm gonna check if we have any impedance between the two. Open line, on line, and open line on neutral. So this is an unbonded neutral ground. Let's check our cigarette lighter outlet, our accessory outlet, and see what kind of voltage we have coming out of that. If it's a direct pass-through, which I believe it is. 13.23 volts on our cigarette lighter outlet, so that definitely looks like it's direct pass-through from the 12-volt battery. So this Ampeak 3,000-watt inverter, nice inverter. It does not have a neutral ground bond which I consider a plus, shows the quality. A lot of the cheaper ones bond that ground and neutral together. I like the unbonded neutral ground, uh, say 3000 watt capacity, 3200 watt overload protection, also has a 6000 watt surge for any of your inducted loads. So for a split second, it'll handle that 6000 watt initial inrush surge on that. It has the cigarette lighter outlet, which is definitely a benefit. It has 320 volt outlets, and it also has your remote outlet that you can buy for the remote control switch from Ampeak that is sold separately. Uh, some of these do come with the kit, but all in all, it's a nice inverter. I'm happy with it. We're going to be working with this thing on some projects right around the corner. We're going to be talking about inrush current when you hook these up to a battery and how to avoid that and how to protect your inverters. So stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, I'd like to thank Ampeak for sponsoring this video. We're gonna have a good time with this inverter playing around with it. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.